Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your very first Grunt.js tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about what a task runner is and how it can help your development workflow. Okay then, so before we start talking about Grunt.js, there's a couple of things I want to point out that you probably should be familiar with before you start. Uh, the first one is Node.js and the Node Package Manager. And that's because we're going to install Grunt using the Node Package Manager. Now, if you don't know how to do that or how to install Node.js, then I'm going to leave a link to my Node.js for Beginners playlist down below. Check that out. I'll walk you through the steps of installing it on your computer right there. Uh, secondly, you're going to need to know a bit of JavaScript because we're going to create a file in this tutorial series which is going to control all of our tasks and that is going to be written in JavaScript. So if you want to brush up your skills, I've got a JavaScript for beginners tutorial series on this channel as well. I'll leave the link to that down below also. All right then, so what does a task runner do? Well, it performs repetitive tasks for us, among other things. And some of those tasks could be something like prefixing CSS rules. So when we're writing CSS and we have a particular rule which does something like, I don't know, box sizing, which may need vendor prefixes because it's not fully supported in all browsers, then we do something like this, hyphen mods, hyphen box sizing, then hyphen webkit, hyphen box sizing, etc. We don't want to do all that. We want something to take care of it for us. And Grunt can do that. So it saves us a lot of time. Uh, it can also compile SAS files into CSS for us. And if you write in SAS, you know that browsers can't um, understand SAS files. We need to compile it into CSS first. And yeah, we could download another tool to do that for us. But if we're using Grunt anyway, why not just use that? Um, it can also minify JavaScript and CSS files for us. Um, so I've got here a jQuery script. This is the jQuery library and it's not compressed or minified in any way, shape or form. And you can see right there, it's 11,000 lines long and whatever size. So yeah, we could upload this to our server and we could serve this um, when a user requests it or we could compress it into something that looks like this and that is gonna reduce the file size by squashing everything up, changing the name of your variables and functions into smaller uh, variables and functions and it's just going to load quicker when you request it from a server. So Grunt.js can take care of that kind of thing for us and CSS files as well. And it can also concatenate files for us. So I've been on websites where there's been, I don't know, 50 plus requests for different JavaScript libraries or files, uh, CSS files, and that is hitting the server 50 times. Boom, 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 boom. And it's going to take a while to complete all of those requests and get them back to your browser. Now, ideally, what we want to do is concatenate all those JavaScript files into one or two files, concatenate all those CSS files into one or two files, and then just load up those files um, in the website. So we're just making maybe four or five requests rather than 50 plus. So that's going to speed up your website as well. And Grunt.js can take care of that as well. So I keep saying Grunt.js, but there's also other task runners. One of them is Gulp, which is kind of like the new kid on the block. Not so new anymore, but a lot of startups are using Gulp. But Grunt is still a heavy game player. There's a lot of support for it, and it is really cool. So you'll notice right here as well, I've got some other folders. I've got a CSS folder, and I've got a JavaScript folder. These are just some files that we're going to use in this playlist because we're going to be going each uh, through each of these kind of tasks here, showing you how to use Grunt, and we're going to be demonstrating that on these files. Now, I've uploaded them for you on my GitHub page, so I'm just going to show you that now. Okay, so here we are. This is the repository I've created for this playlist. It's called Grunt Playlist. I'm going to leave the link to this down below. So if you want to download those files and work along with me, you can just go ahead and click this button, clone or download. You can either open it in your desktop or download the zip file with all of those files in it. And then we can kind of work together um, in this Grunt project. Also, if you do want to download Node.js um, and you don't want to check out my tutorial on it, then just go to nodejs.org and click this button right here, um, or this one, this is the latest version, but this is the one with long-term support, so recommended for most users, and it's certainly gonna be enough for this tutorial series. So yeah, go ahead and download that, just click the button, run through the steps, and that's gonna install Node and the Node Package Manager on your computer. So there we go, there's your kind of whirlwind intro of Grunt.js and what a task runner can do for us. In the next tutorial, we're gonna install it and we're going to start to take a look in more detail as to what it can do for us. 
So any questions so far, leave them down below. Otherwise, guys, I'll see you in the very next video.